In today's society, where first impressions are often formed within seconds, it is not uncommon for people to judge you based on what you do for a living. The question, what do you do, has become ingrained in our social fabric, leading to snap judgments and assumptions about a person's worth and value. In many social settings, the answer to this seemingly harmless inquiry is immediately followed by an internal evaluation, with assumptions being made about your personality, income, and overall success in life. This instant judgment on the basis of looks and profession stems from an inherent human desire to categorize people into neat boxes based on predefined societal standards. Doing so enables them to measure the appropriate level of respect and empathy they should extend toward you. Wealth accumulation for them is a yardstick by which individuals are evaluated. Societal success and stature are frequently determined by one's finances, a perspective that often gives rise to biases and misunderstandings. The American dream, a widely celebrated concept instilled in the very fabric of our society, holds that anyone, regardless of their origins or background, has the opportunity to achieve great success and prosperity through hard work and determination. Indeed, this belief has spurred countless individuals to reach for the stars, propelling them to heights they once thought impossible. Yet, alongside these inspirational stories of triumph lies a darker underbelly that plagues many Americans. Hindered by a constant pursuit of more, more money, more recognition, more achievements, we find ourselves plagued by an insatiable hunger that devalues the satisfaction we derive from our everyday lives. It seems that anything less than extraordinary is akin to failure, and we bear witness as people tirelessly chase after loftier goals and grander aspirations. Imagine a race where a thousand people are running, and ultimately, only three of them attain the top three positions. What becomes of the other 997 participants? In our society, less than 1% of individuals are hailed as extraordinary, while the majority are deemed as average or ordinary. Does living an ordinary life truly make one less valuable or significant in the grand scheme of things? An ordinary life can be just as remarkable and fulfilling as any other, if approached with the correct mindset and perspective. Embracing the uniqueness that resides within each person's journey can lead to a newfound appreciation for the beauty present in ordinary life. But sadly, flaunting expensive cars, luxury homes, designer clothing, and high-end gadgets has become an emblem of prosperity. Because owners of these possessions are perceived as accomplished and significant, in contrast, those devoid of such luxuries are deemed less successful or even impoverished. High-ranking job titles or careers with lucrative paychecks, like doctors, lawyers, or CEOs, often symbolize achievement and affluence. On the other hand, individuals holding lesser positions or working in lower-paying fields are seen as underachievers or less competent. The insatiable longing for social acceptance propels individuals to engage in a relentless pursuit of materialistic possessions, ultimately ensnaring them within an unending cycle of consumption and dissatisfaction. This phenomenon is deeply ingrained in our society, as people often find themselves comparing their lives and achievements with those of their peers, either consciously or unconsciously. This comparative tendency fosters feelings of inadequacy and envy when one perceives that they have fallen short in terms of wealth, status symbols, or career accomplishments. Consequently, this leads to a constant quest to attain more material possessions or attain greater social standing in an attempt to bridge the perceived gap. However, the irony lies in the fact that this seemingly endless pursuit often fails to provide individuals with true happiness and contentment. Instead, it contributes to a culture of perpetual dissatisfaction, as new goals or desires continually emerge, preventing individuals from ever finding inner peace and fulfillment. The unquenchable thirst for social approval 
drives people to tirelessly chase material wealth, trapping them in an infinite loop of buying and discontent. Aware or not, we fall into the trap of feeling inferior or envious, when we believe we haven't matched our peers' riches, prestige, or career milestones. Consequently, we embark on an endless quest, to acquire more material goods and elevate our social status, all in an attempt to close the imaginary gap. Ironically, this never-ending chase rarely results in genuine happiness or satisfaction. Instead, it feeds a culture of chronic discontent, as new ambitions and cravings keep arising, preventing us from experiencing true inner peace and fulfillment. Advertisements and consumer culture have a significant influence on the way you perceive success and happiness. Crafted with impeccable precision, advertisements captivate your minds by stirring emotions and fostering associations between products and your sense of fulfillment. Media platforms bombard your lives with these enticing messages, creating an environment where acquiring new clothes, gadgets, or experiences is equated with joy and achievement. Celebrities and influencers have become powerful driving forces behind consumerism, utilizing their widespread reach on various media platforms to showcase their extravagant lifestyles. With every post, video, or story they share of themselves, adorned in designer apparel, traveling on lavish vacations, or exhibiting the latest gadgets. They are feeding the notion that possessing expensive items is directly correlated to happiness, achievements, and self-worth. This false perception infiltrates your mind, leading to overconsumption of useless products, as you strive to emulate the luxurious lives portrayed by your favorite public figures. Consequently, you are guided to spend your hard-earned money on items that may not genuinely reflect your values or improve your well-being, but can offer a temporary sensation of accomplishment. This consumer-driven mindset constantly tempts us to seek out the latest trends, in turn feeding an insatiable appetite for possessions that can ultimately lead to stress, financial instability, and diminishing intrinsic happiness. The preoccupation with material possessions is like a garden overgrown with weeds, where the beautiful and nourishing plants that represent empathy, compassion, and generosity, find it difficult to obtain the essential sunlight and nutrients required for growth. As you become increasingly absorbed in acquiring more material items to showcase your status or satisfy a fleeting desire, you tend to neglect the cultivation of those virtues that truly enrich your lives and the lives of others. The perpetual challenge lies in identifying and pulling out those weeds, both within yourself and the society, so as to let the plants of empathy, compassion, and generosity flourish once more.